Hello guys, I'm back with another tutorial, and this is actually my first requested tutorial. So, uh, okay, the, I can't really say your name, but, so, uh, th they requested if I know how to export a uh, video or animation for MD. If I do, please consider making a tutorial. I don't want to say your name wrong. Sorry. But you basically request it. So I'm happy I'm able to do that. So a few dis so some disclaimers. You'll need a Windows PC. You'll need MD installed. Sorry, not installed, downloaded. And you'll know you need to know how to load a motion or model and the stage which is optional so let's get started so i have gone you set up here with my walking motion because i wanted something short and easy so this can render easily but we won't get into the details so first i highly recommend go to screen size and make sure the width is like at least 1920 pixels as the width and one times 1080 pixels for the height at least this please i really don't want to see pixelated mmt videos it bothers me but i in order to do 2560 pixels for the width and times 1440 for the height then you click ok do not click cancel because that will cancel whatever you did so in here this is something i like to do go to zero this is the starting frame and this is the ending frame this will also be input here when you render it so put make sure frame is zero if you're exporting the whole video and ending frame which is 100 in this case if there's some parts if you're making like separate video then put it to like like if the motion creator put like instructions then follow them and put it like at least here like render it to this point to this point okay now we're done with the screen size and the rendering stuff so what you want to do is go to file, render to AVA file, ignore this, this is from MM Plus. Name it as this, I will name it test. And then frame rate I like it 30. So because if I put 60 it kinda looks off timing because I usually put my animations 30 frames from it per second. I'm recording, this is why I did this, so it will be automatically input here, also because you can't access anything in MD if you're in this window and if your animation has a has an audio make sure to put output wave if you don't then there's gonna be no audio in this case there's no audio so this is automatically grayed out then for a video compressor I if it will be automatically set to AVI raw I don't recommend it it will make your video file size big. So, um, I like to use MJPEG compressor. You can use whatever, go ahead and be wild, because different video compressors will end up with different results. So, yeah. Once you're done with that, click OK, and then you wait for it to render. Shouldn't take that long because I this is only 100 frames. That's why I wanted a short animation so I can quickly, you know, show it to you easily and make this tutorial as short as possible because this is actually quick and easy. Okay, good, we're done. Once that's done, you'll notice that wherever you put it, you'll put your AVI file. in whatever folder you find it here 
oh, but then here's the question. Here's one question. What if um, your uh, ABI file ends up big? There is a solution to this problem. I learned this from another tutorial, but the original link is down. As the, I think the person who created this was Mickey MD, originally made MD Roblox videos, but I'm afraid that uh, they uh, stopped using MD because MD stopped working and we won't get into that stuff. So they basically just privated or deleted their MD videos or made them listed. So go to Handbrake. Oh, and shout out to that person. And open it and hand open your AVI file. Shouldn't take that long when loading. All right. Once that's done, make sure your web optimize is checked. Go to video, constant frame rate, Selected, 23 is the constant quality, and slow. I like to put it in an MP4 file. Also, I'm gonna do, do uh, this. Uh, just, just gonna do this again because it may be start over. And yes, I don't have to worry because web optimize is already checked. Once you're done, click start in code. And it will encode based on how long the video is. I think, oh, how big it is. And yeah, it's gonna be a little smaller. So I'll go into videos. Oh, I don't have to do that. Oh my gosh, I see cringe. Cringe stuff. Just ignore the stuff. Okay, it's done now, but it didn't mark it done yet, but we'll wait. Okay, once it's done, you'll notice that the, that this is way smaller. The file size is way smaller than before. So, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section and help will be on its way. And to the person who requested this, if this answered a question, it is a pleasure. So I'll see you next on the next video. Bye. What the heck? That took eight.